All right, Bob Risky, Bob Risky, Bob Risky. I will advise you that after you see this post, you should do the needful. But you being you, I know that after you see the post, you want to prove stubborn. You want to prove that you don't have shame. Yes, we'll go drag, we'll go drag, and no get shame. But this is beyond dragging, right? This is beyond dragging. If after this post, you don't do the needful, let me tell you what will happen. A lot of things will go wrong for you. You might lose connection. You might lose friend. And everybody that is involved in what I have, Everybody where they involved, they will suffer. You will regret why you did do this thing where you did do. I'm just telling you the truth, yeah? So after this post, you should do the needful. Now, Nigerians, some people go feel sad they winch hunter, maybe because of me and him beef. No, this is my platform. A victim don't come wrong to me. You understand? Don't tell me, say, see what thing go down. And it's not fair. Some people cannot treat you nice. And when it's time to give them back their thing, you not give them, making them go through pains. Do you understand? This is my platform. The person don't come with me. I will just say it the way it is. Then I'll wait for your response. But if I contact the person and you don't do the needful, no problem. Then we get right into business. Do you understand? And also to his friends. If when I watch the video finish, I'll not decide say when I want help him. The help can come from anybody. It does not necessarily need to come from Bob Risky. When I feel help him, pay this person this money. And everything, nothing will come out. We'll be in peace. But if you people feel like, uh, if Bobriski feel like, okay, yes, this is dragging, no problem. I'm not gonna drag it. You will learn. <laughs> you will learn the very hard way. So what did Bobriski do? Let me get right into it. This is um, a four million naira transfer that was sent to Bobriski Kuda bank account. As you can see, it was sent on the 19th of June 2024 when Bobriski was still with um, EFCC, and it was sent around 2:11. As you can see, his name. Um, is there Okunaye Abiola? So the person sends this money because of the reason Bobriski gave to him, which I'm not going to say now because there's no need to say it right now. Um, Bobriski agreed that he's going to pay back at a particular period of time. So the guy now sent his account number and he said, Bob, please send the money here. GT Bank with his name. Bobriski said, Noted. Bobriski said, Bank are not open because of the protest. Then, um, the guy said, are you sure? I spoke with my account manager this morning and the transaction was concluded. Well, help me do it ASAP. But Brisky said, honestly, this is not fair. When you were giving me this money, you didn't tell me you will give me this pressure now. You asked when I'm returning it. I remember telling you September. Because you need money now, you are putting me under pressure. Now, um, the guy now said, uh, but recently now says, the guy now says, September, how? I told you I need the money for the house I'm planning to buy. If I don't need it, I won't be asking. But Risky now sent a voice note. That one will play later. Now, um, on September 2nd, which since Bob Risky says September, September 2nd, the guy sent account number, but Risky did not respond. September 3rd, the guy said, Hey, Bob, I'm seriously in need of this money, but Risky did not respond. September 4th, the guy now sent another message and said, Dear Bob Risky, this is a reminder for the return of the loan amount of 4 million naira as agreed. The due date for the return is on September 1st. Kindly use these attached account details to send me the fund. GT Bank, thanks for your cooperation. Bob Risky still didn't respond. Today is Friday. Please don't piss me off. Bob Risky now said, This is not nice at all. You will get your money. I'm working on it. I shouldn't piss you off. Almost see life. It's fine. You will get your money. The guy said, I told you I need the money. You have made me look like a liar. Bob Risky said, Soon. The guy said, Please, I need the money today. If not, you won't like the outcome. No cap. If you remember from June, June. July, August, September, after two months. Now Bob Risky is out of prison, right? So Bob Risky said, go and do your worst. The guy said, okay. Bob Risky said, don't threaten me. I hate the sound of that. The guy said, I won't go back and forth with you because I didn't go back and forth when I helped you. This is your true behavior. I simply told you what I needed the fund for, but you don't, um, true behavior, but you don't care. You have 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, Naso Bob Risky turn everything to blackmail. Obviously, because he knows, say, people know they like gay matter. 
You understand? He quickly blackmailed the guy. See what Bobriski responded. Bobriski said, when you kiss me and smoosh me, did you give me any money? Are you mad? He don't change him. He went on saying, your visit to Nigeria, that you kiss me in Lagos, did you give me anything? I didn't ask you for money. No, because I am fucking okay. If not EFCC, you think I'm going to ask you for money? You are typing all this message to someone help you post flyer without collecting anything from you. Wow. Go ahead and call me out. I will respond to you on IG. You know I am shameless and I don't care. Blocked. You will get your money. I have your account. I don't want to look like someone who is ungrateful, but threatening me that you will give me 24 hours is the height of it. Bye. I am waiting for you to post or call me out. Okay. But Brisky twisted everything immediately just because he does not want to pay. Somebody help you at the time of your need. Pay the person back. You disco the person. When it's time for the person to collect the money, you now blackmail the person that you are going to expose the person that you and the person kiss. You understand? Robbing is stigma. That means you want to publicize. So the person will fear no collecting money. Now, let me continue. The guy now said, you have 24 hours. But Brisky said, okay, I'm waiting. The guy said, don't say I didn't warn you. This is not about calling you out. Believe me, you won't like this. You have 24 hours, right? So, Bobrisky say, um, the guy said, someone like, then the guy continued. The guy said, I help you when you need it. And this is your payback. Well, good luck. Bobrisky said, I'm waiting for your 24 hours, meaning Bobrisky does not want to pay. The guy said, someone like you is the reason why people don't help people. You have made your intentions clear, but you won't like my action. Bobrisky said, I'm not going to reply you only if you do your worst. You're threatening me. You're wicked. The guy said, I'm wicked. Wow. But Risky said, yes, you are wicked. Ever since I've known you, I've always been nice to you. And dare open your mouth to tell me you give me 24 hours. Do you understand? Then he now talk, 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 talk. The guy said, um, I told you I needed it. The people I promised to pay them two days ago already see me as a liar. I told you from jump. That's blah, 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 blah. So they went back and forth, went back and forth, went back and forth. Until Bobriski now said, you went to report me to Damola. I never knew you were like this. I was told you are going to report me to very dark man. Please go ahead. I am here to drag your generation. The guy said, no more discussion. But Risky went on, you are stupid. Go ahead, shame on you. Go and do your worst. All these things are exactly what is getting me angry. Gosh, I never knew you were this stupid. The guy said, okay, I am waiting for you to report me to very dark man. Please tell him you had an affair with me because I am going to drag the living daylight out of you. Continue blackmailing the guy. Cut the long story short. The blackmail continued and continued and continued. But Risky is refusing to pay. <laughs> Now, there's one part where the guy said, if Nigerian law doesn't work, I'll show you I'm an American citizen and there's law here that stands and they are effective. But Risky said, go ahead and do everything that makes you happy. I don't give a F. Since six years, I've not been able to enter America. So nothing is new to me. You won't get one couple from that money if you keep threatening me. I had intention of giving you some money before, but you feel threatening me will scare me. Like seriously, who is who in his right sense threatening his friend? Not just a friend, though. someone you had something to do with. You kiss your friend. Do you romance your friend? You had uh, the God threatening me. The guy said, listen, I promise you one thing. As long as... As all I did for you is to help you. And this is what I get. I will make sure you beg for everything you have done. You won't see it coming. Now, um, as you can see, obviously, the guy is being blackmailed after he rendered help to Bobriski at the time of his need. This guy no deserve this thing, right? Um, but Risky, the truth is that the law in Nigeria works. You understand? I will point out the law of blackmailing to you at the due time. Do you understand? But for now, I like your stubbornness, right? Uh -huh. Now, Nigerians, you people have seen, you understand, this is my platform, this is what I do. I use my platform to help people get back their money, especially when they are being scammed. Do you understand? And especially when it has to do with people that have influence and people that can hide the truth and eat people's money and nobody can do anything about it. So, but risky, I'm giving you just um, six hours, four hours after this video. And if not... What will happen next? You're not going to like them at all. <laughs> and you will learn. And you will learn the hard way. I swear to God, you will pay. <laughs> Don't play. You're going to learn. And you will learn the hard way. Thank you for watching our videos at G Dynamic Tube TV.